Hey there, BD family. This is Gordon, and today we're going to switch out a domain. We're switching on a website to all new idea. Um, so I'm gonna today on this video, I'm gonna switch out the domain, um, do the SSL, the email delivery, the website, go into Google Maps, do the API for that, and basically just show you all how to do it. I already built, I already jumped into Google and made a Gmail account for this new um, website, which is I I definitely think everybody should be doing that. Um, so basically what we're going to start out here is we're going to come down here to domain names. First thing we're going to do is we're going to come down and we're going to, need to copy and paste this address. I'm going to go to um, GoDaddy, go to the A, do that, and make this instead of park. I'm going to put a IP address there. Hit save. So now Google or GoDaddy is done. Um, so now I'm going to come up here into this where it says change domain. I'm going to change all this out. So the new domain is um, what the heck is the new domain? Um, local I'm going to try to spell that right. Looks right to me. Copy that. Put it down here. Paste it. Change your domain. Yes. This will take a couple minutes. Had a little technical difficulty. I um, <laughs> I forgot to uh, the S on photographers. I had photographer instead of photographer, so nothing was linking up. So I fixed it, and now we're back on track. All right. So we got it, I got it fixed. I didn't put the domain name in wrong. I left the S out of photographers. So I easiest way to do that from now on is when you're in GoDaddy or wherever you are, just highlight the highlight the um, the domain name and just copy it and paste it in there. That's the easiest way to do it. All right, so let's go back into here. Let's reinstall the SSL into the right website. <laughs> yeah, learn something new all the time. Let that refresh. All good there. Our email delivery. So we're going to want to make sure this is right. And it's not. We left the S out here. So we need to edit that. Info. And does it have the S in it now? Photographers. Yes, it does. So we're going to change that first. Close it. And then on these, we're going to um, edit. Oops, that's not what I want. I'm going to go refresh these. Okay, check the link or check it. It's now going to say, okay, you need to install this. So I'm going to click that and it needs to go in the DNS of the site for the TXT. So I'm going to come over here and go add a new record. It's a TXT. The first string, go back and catch the second side, put it over here, save it, yes, okay, and then it's going to say, okay, what about the third one, click that to authenticate, it's now going to open up four or five more boxes below us there that we need to copy and move over. Okay, so we got to do all these now. These are all C names. So take the first one, copy it. New record, C name. There. Second side. There. Add another record, C name. Second one. Add another record. I actually like to do it this way sometimes because you can actually count how many you've done so you don't lose track. So we're on one, two, three, we're on the fourth one down. So one, two, three, four. Okay. 
One, two, three, four. And then save them all. Save them. Oh, forgot to put a C here. <laughs> so that's the fourth one. That. I probably wiped that out because I didn't have that checked. All right, try it again. <clears throat> okay, that part's done. Let's go back here and recheck. Don't hit the reset. Hit recheck. these finish so recheck this refresh that and this says it hasn't been found yet so GoDaddy hasn't updated yet. Now it's saying this one, add this to your record, but it should be. So, guys, I'm going to jump back in here and uh, let you know that here on this portion here on the email delivery, being you're working with um, the domain um, for me it was GoDaddy give them time to actually get the stuff in place so just come back and hit the refresh so once you get started on this just keep hitting the refresh button and it will come up um, but yeah just give them a little time I'm gonna come back to this because I don't think GoDaddy's updated yet this is new so our domain has changed our SSL's changed. Okay, so let's go see what the front end looks like. There's our front end. And I have no front page yet, just the front header stuff. Okay, so now we need to um, general settings. Go to integration. Wipe that out. Wipe that out. Wipe that out. And wipe that out. Okay, so we're going to hook up our JavaScript. So we're going to click on Learn More. This is the instructions how to do it. So the first thing you're going to scroll down once the site is live. Make sure the site's live. Come down here, click on this. And that will open up a page and you're going to go get started and I, like I said I already made a login for this it's not this so I'm going to change I'm just going to click on this and choose the uh, the new um, Gmail account which is that one close that close that Okay, so I'm going to go through my walk through all this really quick. So here's why I use a cheat sheet. I come back to this and it will step you through it. Um, actually, it's open that. This will step you through it. So we're here. I just did that. So I'm just going to step through all these steps right here, right? So I'm going to put jump pause for a minute while I do this. All right, so they've changed Google again. So once you get in, you, f you fill in your um, credit card and all that. And it's basically they're not going to take any money out of it unless you, unless you set up your pretty uh, URLs, then you will spend some money. But otherwise, you're not going to spend any money because they give you credits every year, every month, whatever. So... 
you're going to get up here and uh, as you're logged in to your your new Gmail account, you're going to go to um, enable APIs credentials. That here says create a credentials, and you're going to you're going to click on API key. So then copy that. That's going to be the key. Come back here, enter it here. Okay. Go ahead and save this. But now you're going to have to you're going to have to build this. So there's our API key. So here's this the key. So you're going to click on this API key. And this is where you say it's a website, and this is this will step you through this, the um, BD um, cheat sheet. And this is the stuff down here is pretty important how you do this, but it steps you through exactly how to do it. Um, so API key, that's where we are now. So we're right here. So these things right here in this step, let's get rid of that. You're gonna want all of these. So copy this. And come up here and you're going to say website and you're going to add these pages so you're going to just click here paste it come back to the cheat sheet grab this paste it you're done with that one make another one paste it done you're going to make another one come back grab the next one which is this uh, yes, they look the same, but if you notice, this one has a a period in this starred looking thing. So they all have to be in here. Like that. Done. And then you're going to come in here and you're going to grab this I Love BD, which is going to be your website. So you're going to copy that. Well, you don't have to copy that, but it's usually go like this, like this, and then blank all that out and type in the and now copy this because you're going to have to write it in again done and then paste it again but this time you're going to take out the stuff in front of it done so those are done do not restrict the key save it there again all this is said in this cheat sheet okay websites done done don't restrict the key and save it and now we're back here to apis what are they telling us to do here now now we're going to go and enable the apis okay so click on this again oops i already did that go back to that enable um where they have us doing that at enable API services up here and then enable API's and then you're gonna basically go through what they want you to have here is number one is place places API so just you can either search for it here or just type it in it'll find it and then you're going to I don't know if it's a new one or old one. We just put the old one in. Probably could put the new one in. But it works fine with the old one. So I don't, I don't know what the difference is. And it doesn't say the new one here. And then we need geocoding. So the geocoding API. Okay, so that one's in. So now we're going to go back. And GI geocoding oops there's that one oh, that's a search that's not what I want kind of got to scroll through all these and find it that sucks Gotta be an easier way. Look, okay, we just see what we have enabled. Just that. Okay. Maps. We need. No, is it just is it a map? Product details. 
Yeah, they changed all this, so um, there used to be a search here. You just put it in and it brought it up. We could take that. But places, maps, environment, routes. I think routes is one of them we're going to have to do. There it is. Enable that. The next one we have is Maps JavaScript API. Okay, and then Maps. Right there, Maps JavaScript API. Enable that. Okay, and that's all of them. That's all we need. And come back over here. Oops, come over here. I think we're done. I don't think there's a save, actually. What are they telling us to do here? Step 9. That's all secure, so we're done. We've in managed, we've, in we've enga enabled all those, so. Okay, so that part is done. The next thing we have to do is recapture. Analytics we can do later. Recapture. So we're going to click on this again like we did earlier. Click on that. This is just another tutorial. Come down, click on Google Recapture. And I'm going to go local. There me, version 2, I think is what they want, and it says right here what I want you to have. I'm not a robot. I'm not a robot. And then, I think you need to put in, add a domain, it's going to be local photographers near me. Local photog. Forgot that either. That just doesn't look right. It is right, but it just doesn't look right. Add that. Um, I think that's all we have to add, I think. This is the one. And hit submit. Here's our first one. Copy the key. That goes over here. The site key. And then over here is the secret key. Goes over here. Paste that. Go back up and save it. Done. And then analytics. Get rid of that. Get rid of recapture. Get rid of that. Open up another box. Um, I'm gonna put this under all the other. So I, when I look up all my analytics, are all on one one page. I don't have to keep changing um, accounts. So we're gonna come up here. Um, you're going to click on new. Dismiss that. Oh, it's admin down here. And create. Um, I think it's an account. No, it's a property. Create property. Local photography. Oh, photography, photographer. Next. Um, arts and entertainment. Small. Next. Um, get base reports. User behavior. 
We're going to do a web. It's not for an app or a apple. It's for the web. Up here we're going to type in dub 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 dot local Make sure that's spelled right. Local photographers near me dot com. Um, website. Create a stream. Copy this stream. This right here, actually. Copy that. Go back over here and tag it right there. What'd that say? It did start with a G, didn't it? Get rid of that. It did start with a G. I don't think it copied. Ah, resave it. And we're done. So this, this is now, I mean, it seems harder than it is, but it, it is done. Close that, close that, boom, now it's done. You're done with the analytics. So now if you actually go to analytics, click on the right one up here, mission program. Yeah. Uh, because I'm not in the right one here. I have a lot of these that I changed from the Oops, that's not what I wanted either. Why really I added that in there? I'm gonna have to move that. I, I think it was I didn't want it as a property. I wanted it as an account. Anyway, that's how it'll be. That's how you do it. So here's our website so far. If I type in. Portland, it comes up, does what it's supposed to. Oh, uh, there's nobody, there's uh, nobody in here yet. So, but hey, that part, the map's working, all that, all that stuff's working. So that's it in a nutshell. That part is done. That's actually the hardest part of making a new website, or the not the hardest part, but the hardest part to actually get right and get it done. But we did it in what I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good afternoon.